Um, get into this next topic. I like how you you you, you, you transitioned yeah, that in. I, I, so I, I like lined that. it up. For um, <laughs> so this next topic, Keem had is consent to sex the same thing as consent to pregnancy? Mm. Keem, j- jump in on this one real quick. I know this was your topic, so. Um, well, basically, they were saying in the video, <laughs> the guy was saying that consent to sex is consent to pregnancy. I can't a hundred percent agree with that because it's like. He used the analogy is like if you go to a bar, you consent to getting drunk because there's a possibility you might get drunk. But you're not consenting to get drunk. You consent to have a drink. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You're not necessarily consenting to the hangover or whatever that comes after that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I can't necessarily agree that consenting to sex is consenting to pregnancy. You know what I mean? Did you did you protect yourself? I mean, maybe maybe I did. So why why we why is this even a discussion? You didn't even protect yourself, and you knew the possibility that it could happen. Mm-hmm. That's Yikes. the thing. People don't, like, guys don't be wanting to use protection. But n- neither do women. That's true. Yeah, so we want to get this shit. Guys, guys, guys always what? be the first ones to be like, "Oh, I don't oh, use that. I don't want to use." So then, why that. you let them go inside your box roll? Oh, not me. I'm no. I'm just saying, but you got that excuse for women. But why didn't you not have that excuse for? I mean, you got that excuse for men, but why you not have that excuse for women? Like exactly. So I feel like if two grown people is going out and doing X, Y, and Z, they should talk about it. If you're not talking about it, then it's both of y'all faults. Mm-hmm. Because now when the situation happened, now y'all both gonna argue. Y'all gonna be like, oh, it's your fault. Y'all, y'all both grown. Y'all know what y'all did. Mm. Y'all ain't use no protection. And now y'all got a situation going on. I, th- I think when, obviously when we talk about consent, we talking about, you know, two people coming to an agreement, right? Yeah. So pregnancy, I think when God, when people think about sex, they usually just think about, you know, the pleasure part. Like they're not really, even if they do use protection and whatever the case is, People having sex purely for pleasure, like you know, for the satisfaction of pleasure. Not they're not thinking about y'all. I'm having a kid, and they da- they damn sure didn't have a discussion together. Like you know what? Let's have this baby. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So I don't think it's the same thing because you know, obviously, it does take two to tangle, right? But only one person has that decision. And I think if one person has that decision, which is the woman, because it's her body, her choice. I think that a man. You know, if he, he if he doesn't have a say, so I think it should be very much his wallet, his money, his wallet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and if he doesn't agree to having that child with that woman, then I don't think and I'm not saying this is an excuse. But since he didn't have that decision, you know, it was only one sided. I don't think that man should be held liable for paying child support. Like, what do you hear yourself? And they, I, yeah, I do hear myself. Like, that's I'm telling you. Uh, and that's where the problem boils down to did you have a father in the home because no real man is about to tell no woman that like yeah, but we laid I, down and had this baby and you're gonna tell no, me no we laid down and have sex we did not we both didn't agree to have the child you agreed to so, have the child mm-hmm. okay sex humans use sex as a fun activity but what is realistically what is sex no, made se- to do pregnancy is a, it could be a ramification no but what is sex made to do but, to reproduce, yeah, you're right. Okay, mm-hmm. so when so we did, you, did y'all down, both agree? Did y'all both agree to reproduce when y'all had sex, or did y'all just both agree to have we to give sex. each other sexual pleasure? We ha- we are having sex. I'm right? saying I'm asking you a question. Wait. What did y'all agree to do when y'all lay down to have sexual to enjoy sexual pleasure or to procreate? We having sex to have pleasure. Okay. But what happens? What is the possibility when we're having pleasure? There's always ramification. Just like when you drink at a bar, there's a possibility that you could get drunk. Like you get what I'm saying? But that's not what you're drinking for. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that sounds crazy. It doesn't because I think if if that was a if that was the thing, again, childbirth, it takes two to tangle. Childbirth is one, it's only one way. Only you can decide decide because it's your body, right? Mm-hmm. Even regardless of the fact, even even if it's vice versa. Let's say, you know what, you get pregnant, yo, I want to keep this child. And you say, you know what, nah, I don't want to keep, I want to. Mm-hmm. I can't do nothing about that. You get what I'm saying? Even though we mm-hmm. both made that child, it's still your decision. And I think because it's, real, if real it's quick before you go on, when a woman say, Oh, I don't want to keep that child, what is she? Wait, what? What is she? Say it again. When, when the woman that, saying, "Oh," and when the man is like, "Yeah, I want to keep this. I want to raise him." Blah blah. And the woman's like, "No, I don't want to do that." What is she? Probably, I don't know. That's the point. Right? But but when the man when the man says, "Nah, I don't want to do this. I, I'm not he ready for be. a child. He a deadbeat, right?" Because it's, it's the woman's body. Exactly. It's her, it's her so body. I feel like body, yeah, it should be his. It, it should be his his, his choice it's whether he wants to support. That you can't twist and turn that one. Sex, yes. But if you're make if you again. You're emphasizing it takes two, but only one person is can decide, can mm-hmm. make that decision for the mm-hmm. both of us. 
So therefore, it's not mm-hmm. equivalent. Like you get it's what I'm not. saying. And I think if that was if that was a situation, and I'm not telling men to not take care of their kids, but a lot of men have expressed throughout the years, throughout decades, that yo, I don't think this is a good decision for us. I'm not ready to be a father, and women okay. have still selfishly made the decision to bring selfishly. a child to bring a child into this. It is selfish. Yeah, it true. is selfish because that's if you're true. bringing a that's child true. in at a deficit. You already know the ramifications. We see the ramifications of fatherless yeah. homes right now. You, like, you know what I'm saying? You just talking about single... About, about nah, that doing, is true, though. Yeah, so, so it's selfish to bring a child in with no father in the so home. So as a man, what should you be doing to make sure that don't the happen? The same thing Co- Communicating to that woman that and I'm not else? ready to do that. And what else? Even mm-hmm. before we get... Before we even got there to test us up, what should you have done? What should we have done to make sure there we don't go. get there? There you go. There you what go. What should we have done? Okay. There we you go. Done. What should we have done? We, right. we could have played Connect Four instead of doing that. <laughs> We could have played some Uno yeah. instead of doing that. Yeah, yeah, I could have made sure he wore and a condom. You been like, I could have, you, I could have you, popped a pill. You, I could have been popping pills, or you could have wrapped yeah, that you willy. Know. But let me ask you a yeah. question, right? Who you think <laughs> makes that decision to the final decision on not wearing that that condom? It should be me, cause you go in. It's not. It's me. not. It should. It is you. It like, is unless you. Okay. Nah, we're not, we not even talking about the extreme situation. My fault. Unless that's the situation. It's your decision. Like, that's it. Like. it and you know how I know this is true? Because I, when I was in a previous relationship, and she wanted just she wanted just to prove a point. Like, you know, obviously, you know, she was my girl uh, for several years. We didn't use protection, obviously. But it was one night where she made me wear protection, right? And I'm like, yo, you killing the move right now, whatever the case. Like, and she was, at, she was just trying to teach me a lesson. Mm-hmm. But she was very adamant. And she made sure that I did not go inside without a condom. And mm-hmm. guess what I did? Put on a condom condom because she enforced it because she is her body. You get what I'm saying? If more women did that instead of like, you know what? Oh, I'm going to trust your pullout game. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, bro. Like, I really. I have a question. Uh So say if you've been in a relationship for years Mm -hmm. and we never use condoms, Mm then all of a sudden your nigga come talking about let's use a condom. (laughs) How is that gonna turn out? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look at you like, wait, why are you yeah, pulling out a condom? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like, turn what? to Dr. Umar. I find that yeah. very suspicious. Yeah. 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 yeah, I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't. <laughs> that nigga did some, some fishy shit. So yeah. <laughs> unless, uh, wait, hear me out. Unless he had a scare, or oh, y'all had a scare where mm. you almost got pregnant. Then he's like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm playing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I ain't a rolling this bit. dice. Yeah, yeah, I ain't rolling this. Oh, like, that's the only what situation. What if you avalanche? If you avalanche, then you might not want to risk it. This we way. don't never use condoms. Though. And first of all, and then one day you just bring them. So what if he like, say he don't feel like pulling nice. out tonight? That's yeah. massive. He don't feel like pulling out tonight. He wilding. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's, that's you know, why I'm bringing the condoms. I'm glad you brought that point up because obviously with modern technology now, y'all got apps. Y'all know exactly when y'all avalanche. Like you get what I'm saying. So y'all know exactly. When you know is the ideal time to you know have sex because you know it's not a high possibility Definitely. that you could get pregnant. Mm-hmm. Y'all know y'all got all of these plus the thirty plus forms of contraceptive y'all have like mm-hmm. plus con y'all have all of these preventative measures to make sure y'all don't become single parents. Obviously, right? Oh my god! And y'all gosh. still choose to not do this shit. Like you get what I'm saying? I, 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 I think you have been in the loop too much. Oh, because, hey, because, hey, because, hey, no, no. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. I feel like. It's an equal thing. Mm-hmm. Men are equally responsible for a woman being pregnant. Yes. Yes, that's that's understandable. So how dare but, you fix your face and say but that? But listen, if we have a history, right? <laughs> um, you said your mother, your mother and father was together, right? Yeah. Your mother and father, you know, your father was in jail, right? Yeah. What about you? You have both parents? No, just my mom. Oh, you, okay. So there, there's two women right here with a history of single parent households, right? So they already know what they don't want to be. Because they seen their mother struggling, we have a whole history of women seeing what happens in a single parent household, and you still actively choose to make yeah, that decision. Yeah, yeah, I, and I, I hear you. I hear you. Great scenario, great mm-hmm. scenario, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and I know fifteen other niggas that's saying, "Yo, she trapped me. Yo, she trapped me." <laughs> and instead of you fucking putting yourself in that position, put on a motherfucking condom, condom bro. Exactly. That, that, that they is even female condoms. Well, it's like, beyond. It it's beyond the pregnancy. There's things out here that you cannot get rid of. Yeah, that's true. You, tell, you telling us why letting a man come inside you roll? <laughs> like, like, you no, like, like, but I'm saying it's beyond getting pregnant. Like, put that shit on. Like, yeah, that, but that's yeah, what I'm saying. That, that, I think that's 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 what, what, what I'm saying is I understand the equivalent exchange. Sex is an equivalent exchange. Mm. But when, a woman's womb is very 
important to her. I, women die during childbirth. Yes. You get, this is this is not because your womb is not something to play with. You get what I'm saying? So you have to protect as a woman. I think you have to do more of a job protecting your womb than to sit there and blame another man. Like the, put the on only reason why right? I don't agree with you is because the man doesn't have a, a, a say so in the decision that the woman makes. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you your voice is taken away and your point of view has no vision. Mm -hmm. That's why I think you should be more more on it to wear a condom to protect mm -hmm. yourself because you're protecting your future. Whether or not she's still going to be a single mother, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say whether or not you're going to be a, a part of that child's life, it's still going to affect you. Yeah, but then you have guys who can easily if they if guys don't really want to be a father is unfortunate. They can leave the country, they can leave town, and guess who's stuck with that child? The woman. You get what I'm saying? Now you chasing a man down for child support to get what like five dollars or pay like like why y'all doing all of that when you could just protect as a woman you could just protect your womb? I think like you but, know what I'm but, saying. But a hardworking man, an average man that got a job, you know what they're gonna do? Whether you in that child's life or not. Pay, make you pay child support. So why the fuck would I do that? I'm gonna put a fucking condom on. Yeah. Still to this day, I, she get pregnant, she get pregnant, she. Pre I got no fucking say so. The only way I could prevent her voice is by me putting on a condom. I'm not doing it because I'm not worried about. Her. Well, I am worried about her getting pregnant, but I'm more worried about her not caring about my feelings exactly. and, th and this decision that's being made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she should have told me to put on a condom too. Yeah, she should have been taking birth control, but the only way I can control that narrative is by me putting on a condom. That is understandable. But again, if we are, if we have seen a history of women complaining about being a single... Again, we talked about this before. But if who, they, who does it... Who, women who, set men up all the time. What the fuck am I, I going to do about it? You talking about successful men. Like you can no, talk I'm about, talking about average men that's working at, working, at Con Edison, working at the bus, working at the so fucking she supermarket. Said, so she said because she feel like she, she could get him to pay bills or pay something. You're going to be paying. Yeah. Whatever you're working for, yeah, it's her. Yeah, yeah. So you're, I, I've heard women say, oh, well, he doesn't want to be in my child life. I'm going to do it on my own. Mm -hmm. and, and then when do it on my own means I'm going to make you pay child support. So that, that job, when you're living by yourself and you're making, let's say, when women say, oh, $1,000, you're a broke nigga, but mm -hmm. you're making this $1,000 a week, right? Mm -hmm. And now two, $300 got to go to that child. How are you going to live? That's that's understandable, but a lot of women have been complaining that they don't even get they not even, they struggling to get the money from child support from them. And again, if a woman has to keep the kid, her value goes down in the dating market because most men don't want a woman with child with her children. Whereas most women will date a man with a child. Like you get what I'm saying? That that's not an issue because they know I, that they're not the look, primary caretaker. I, I'm, not think, I'm, I'm a, thinking on a, the on the aspect a, of the nigga that's working. Mm. I'm not that nigga doesn't care if she get a fucking new man. Mm. That man ain't want the fucking kid in in the first place. I agree. I agree with both of what y'all saying, but I just think there's more ramifications on the woman's side. So they should be more responsible than what they. If there's more uh, ramifications for you, you should be more responsible. You should be more. You got responsible, health right? reasons. Number one, you got being in poverty and being uh, uh, relying on government assistance and and begging the government to get get child support. That's number two. Your dating value goes down. Number three, like it's a lot more ramifications for women Some as opposed to a man a worrying honor, about. Brother. I'm on his side because he's basically. You've been saying, on his side. No, <laughs> hell yeah, because. Let's say you, right? Mm. You got a nice job. You, mm. You're doing what you got to do. You know your worth, right? Mm. So you're going to protect yourself by any means necessary. Yeah, I'm fucking this girl. You know her shit. You know, all right? Like, you know. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to protect myself, and I'm going to wrap my willy because I don't... Like you said, women do have the right to control your future. So mm -hmm. be a... And they have the right to control their own future their as own well. Future, right? Yes, I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I feel we like we all should, know they're not thinking well, logically. They're thinking should, emotionally. You, no a man should no sit respect. there and protect himself too. I feel like a man that really care about himself, he not going to just fuck any bitch raw. Like, you going to work hard for this puppy juice. Like... Yeah, but like, like no like, lie. Am yeah. I lying though? No, I mean you're not, not lying. You're not but there's, lying, there's, but there's, there's, there's how many women out here crying be, talking about? Oh yeah, I'm independent. I'm gonna do this by myself. I'm a I'm a single mom. Shout to the single moms, blah, blah. But how many single dads you out here crying, bro? It's not that many. This single dads. Oh, they're, they're crying. They crying. Up. They doing anything. I ain't they crying. Lie. Like, I know a few. <laughs> they got to pay them. Yeah. Yeah. Whether the kid is with them or not, them niggas, them niggas is crying. They crying loud. They crying rivers. They got in sync in the background. Crying yeah, but we, we're, we're, I think we're just now hearing men starting, like you said, or crying, whatever the case is. When we have heard women for the last 30, 40 years crying about being a single parent, for you to continue to 
to go, go down that same road as a woman, you yeah, unseen no, your I, auntie, your mama, your your grandmother, all of these women be single mothers, and you still would want to participate in that generational curse. Yeah, so, you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's I, I crazy agree with to me, I like. agree with that part 100. I just don't agree that a man should put himself at risk. I feel exactly. like we got so much to lose because we don't have a voice. That's no, all we I'm got, saying. We, we, we do. Men we, have. We gonna have to agree to disagree. That is true. Men have. Men have a lot to yeah. lose, but women have more. to They lose, do. Right? They do have more to lose, but they have leverage over that man. Yo, a great so, man. So a, the issue that that woman is going through, mm. you may be going through two times worse. A great man once said. With great power comes great responsibility, man. That's all I'm gonna say on that, man. You don't even know who said that, like. I don't, but I know somebody. <laughs> Come on, said that. man. I know somebody That's Spider Man. That's that his, his uncle or some shit like. Yeah. Man, oh yeah, Uncle Ben. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Uncle Ben. He, yeah. He's speaking facts on that one. Yeah, yeah. Can't even give it to yo, quarter brothers, man. Put that motherfucker condom on, man. Don't let them hold hold your lips. And, and your ladies, man. Make sure y'all protect y'all womb, man. And yeah, man. Take a pill. Get your coochie wrapped. Something. <laughs> Wrap your coochie. 